In silence, the Apache woman endured the pain of childbirth. When Victoria on the Warm Springs Apache crossed into Mexico, the Mexican cavalry moved in, intent on settling old scores. For once, the enemy had been able to catch Victoria by surprise. Down to their last rounds of ammunition, his warriors fought desperately, but were overwhelmed. On October 14th, 1880, Victorio fired his last bullet. Of the 400 Chiricahua in Lozen's band, only 17 escaped the massacre at Tres Castillos. The survivors strongly believe that had Lozen been with them, Victorio never would have ridden into the Mexican cavalry's trap. Lozen and the last free Apache warriors would hold out for another five years. She had lost everything but her will to fight. By October 1880, the Victoria Wars had reached their bloody conclusion. Lozen's brother and best friend was gone, and most of her tribe wiped out. But for Lozen, there was more war to come. She and 70-year-old leader Nane joined with Geronimo and the last of the free Apaches. And what they were after was vengeance. Lozen, now in her 40s, spent the next six years punishing the army camps and settlements that had brought her tribe's destruction. At one count, their band was down to 16 warriors, 12 women, and six children. The US Army deployed 5,000 soldiers and Apache scouts to hunt them down. The war was lost, but they were far from defeated. They lashed out at their enemies in a series of ferocious raids. They were very bitter, they were angry and they were lashing out in the only way they knew how. What do you think, you know, if your land was taken away that's covered maybe three, four states, you know, you'll never get it back. By the summer of 1886, six years after Victorio's death, there was nowhere left for Lozen and the others to run. Retreating deep into Mexico, they made camp in the Sierra Madre Mountains. But even there, the US cavalry and their Apache scouts tracked them down. They had been at war for most of their lives and were desperate to be with their families. By now, they had heard that the US government had removed most of the captive Chiricahua to prison camps in Florida. 
The choice for Lozan and Geronimo was clear, to die fighting or to become prisoners, joining what remained of their people in a strange and distant land. Many believe that Lozan and the other women in the band were instrumental in convincing Geronimo that the time had come to lay down their guns. If there was no women warriors there, I think Geronimo could have just fought to the last man. I believe the women warriors were thinking about the survival of the tribe. I think they did make a big difference in this final surrender. In September of 1886, two Apache scouts working for the U.S. Army approached Geronimo in his Sierra Madre hideout. They had come to convince Geronimo to accept the U.S. Army's final terms of surrender. The promise to Geronimo was two years' imprisonment with their families, after which they would be allowed to return to a reservation in New Mexico. Two years became 28 years of confinement. They were in prison in St. Augustine, Florida. Then they didn't know what to do with them. They were finally moved to Alabama. He was exposed to tuberculosis and died. And that's where Lozen, from accounts told to us, that's where Lozen is buried in an unmarked grave. 28 long years of imprisonment and they never came back to their homelands. That is emotional. This photo of the last free Apache to surrender to the US Army was taken in front of the train on its way to prison camps in Florida. In front is the army's prized captive, Geronimo. Behind him are a group of Apache women, identified only as wives of the male warriors, except for one. Nobody is certain, but many Apache believe that this unidentified woman is the only picture of their remarkable woman warrior, Lozen. When you look out of the vastness and the emptiness of this landscape, you have to ask who gained what from the Apache's loss. Barely a hundred years after Lozen's death, the gold mines are abandoned, and the train tracks, which opened up a new era in the West, are relics of the past. It's hard to believe that Lozen and her people were lied to and hunted down for the sake of a quick buck. And when you consider that America prides itself on being the sum of so many parts, it's a crime to realize that there was room enough for everyone but the people who got here first. <laughs>